Tonight's part 21 of 50, a Tony Neal tale. I finished the last bite of Sean Shepard pie and nod appreciatively. That is good, I say. The crust thing works pretty well. It does, Sean agrees. Guess I was just taken by surprise, you know. Expect one thing and get something different. Huh, who'd have thunk it? I respond with a laugh. Leanne materializes from thin air and removes my empty plate, asking, Did you leave room for dessert? I exhale hard, shake head and say, Room or no room, I'm going to pass. Dinner was good, I add sincerely. Glad you liked it. Anything else? Coffee? More drinks? Just the check, please, Jean says, dabbing her mouth and placing her napkin on her plate. Leanne nods, takes a plate, and says, Be right back, leaving us with a mostly cleared table. This was nice, Jean says, smiling broadly. Tomorrow should be good. They're not calling for rain until late. Well, at least I've got that going for me, I say with a single head nod. Plus, I add, doing my best Mill Bill Murray, doing his Carl Spackler of Caddyshack frame. When I die on my deathbed, the Dalai Lama promised me total consciousness. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Lauren, Lauren scrunches up her left eye, tilts her head, and stares at me. Really? I cry out in my car. Really? No Caddyshack? Sean, 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 too many video games and what haves, and not enough classic cinema. Hey, don't blame me, he responds. There's just so many hours in a day, Cinderella. Bum, 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 I reply, smiling. Oh, Lord, Jean says, shaking her head. Well, at least it's not airplane. Leanne returns, carefully places the bill in the center of the table, smiles, and departs. Sean reaches for the tab, and I protest. You don't have to do that, buddy. Gene's got it, I add with a mischievous grin and eye wink. No, no, no problem. You guys paid for the tickets plus the hotel room, he adds, pointing at me, doing a single quick eyebrow raise and fall while placing his UICC debit card on top of the bill. I got this. That's very generous, Shawnee, Gene says, adding, and unnecessary. I know, I know, he says with a dismissive hand wave. Hey, you're the ones who taught me how to handle my money. Well, don't blame me, I say with a wink. I'm just the deadbeat here. Leanne returns, sweeps up the black leather case with Sean's bank card, smiles and leaves. Whoa, say I. What's up, Padre? Santa and Mrs. Claus just arrived, I reply, nodding toward a couple that passes in front of my field of vision. Cute, Sean says. Very, Lauren adds with a smile. Santa's kind of half-hearted, but Mrs. Claus is bedecked in a little red dress, boots, and stocking cap that beautifully show off her roundish figure and mahogany skin. Shall I tell her so, I ask? No, that might be construed as more naughty than nice, Jean says, shaking her head. I watch Mrs. Claus jiggle and whisper, Merry Christmas, thinking how sad it is to live in a world where giving a compliment to a stranger could ever be a no, no, no.